So I have this set on a motion detector. Um, so it detects motion down here. Um, we're down in Seth's cellar. Um, we're doing an investigation down here with um, a very nice lady that's meeting us named Emily. Um, and it's supposed to be very haunted down here. It used to be an infirmary for children, so um, there's a lot of children that are heard down here. So Emily will fill us in on all the claims. So we'll um, see uh, what we find. The hotel was built by the famous sheriff, Zeth Bullock, and his partner, Saul Starr. Both were main characters in the HBO show, Deadwood. They built the hotel after their hardware store burnt down in 1894. All that was left was the brick and they built the hotel on top of the brick. Bullock and Starr decided to build the finest 63 room hotel in Deadwood. So they built it over the original store and warehouse. The hotel restaurant sat a hundred people and offered such delicacies as pheasant and lobster. The lobby included red velvet carpeting, brass chandeliers, oak trim, and a Steinway grand piano. In 1900, the adjacent building to the south was purchased by Bullock and served as the gentleman's bar. Zeth Bullock died of cancer on September 23rd, 1919. He died on his ranch near Bell Fuche, South Dakota. He is now buried next to Martha on the hilltop in Mount Moriah Cemetery above Deadwood. So we are going down to um, Zeth's cellar. We're doing the investigation down here tonight. Um, the Bullock Hotel was gracious enough to um, allow us to come down here. Um, we have somebody meeting us here that is going to fill us in on everything. And uh, so we kind of have an array of equipment that we're going to be using. Um, we have a SLS camera. Um, I have um, several digital cameras set up. Um, this one's set on a motion detector. Um, but this is the bar area right here. They do weddings and events down here. Uh, this is why you see all this kind of wedding equipment that's down here. Um, and then they have like a band area um you know i guess a band can play over there um and you know where they where guests sit and everything um and then back here is a really great old piano here um maybe we can get that to play tonight I if that's the steinway that uh bullock had imported um steinway had a bullock a bullock had a Steinway you imported. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. Um, then we have a utility closet, which, you know, somebody says there's demons there. Um, anyways, um, 
this is all employees area um, this is all um, an employee background area and Emily's going to take us all back to this area here um, so let's see if we can find something down here in Seth's uh, cellar so the difference in the foundation outside is the back part is the where the old um, hardware store was before it burnt down yeah, yeah. okay yep. So this wall right here, yep, all the way. to all the way. Oh, so all this yep. is the original foundation to the hardware store. Okay. So what type of stuff have you experienced since you've been working here? Um, you had experiences? Yeah. The, they like when we were closed for quarantine and we did some, you know, basic up touch it up here, um, they actually were talking to us. Yeah. It was just me and the head housekeeper here. The doors were locked from the outside in and the boss had the main key. She went to go get us lunch and we were sitting on the top, um, in the second floor. We were sitting on top of the stairs and we heard, hey, hey, hey. And we looked at each other like, was that your phone or, you know, what happened? And you know, you know, it what you know wasn't one of us and we looked down the stairs, looked on the floor, there's no one there. And then we kept hearing it again and then it eventually went away. But we did hear whistling all afternoon. Um it got to the point <coughs> where it was annoying. Yeah. Really? Stop, like, right Any specific here. tunes? Just you no. Know, yeah. And where was the whistling? Second up on the second floor. Where about on the second floor? Um, I'd say 208 or 209. So I actually ended up having to go to the bathroom and I was so annoyed at this point. I, uh -huh. I kindly asked them, can you please just let me go to the restroom in peace? And they did. As soon as I walked into the hotel, you know, into the room up there, the hotel room, it quit. And then I went to the bathroom and I came back out, the whistling started again. Oh my so, God, how freaky. You know, <laughs> I really appreciate that they let me go to the restroom. And eat, <laughs> Order so, you know, and that was nice. Um, but yeah, they actually started talking to us. So usually you just hear, you know, footsteps or um, like low whispers. Uh -huh. Not, you know, like quite talking. Um, and they like to blow right in your ear just to let you know that they're there. And you can feel them. Will you stop? <laughs> you feel them right <laughs> behind you, right on you, so, so yeah. The <laughs> reason I was saying, uh, will you stop, Mr. Uh, Martini was uh, blowing in my ear. <laughs> I had comedy relief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. You were saying that um, there's a cat that wanders down here? <laughs> um, yes, uh, Martha Bullock, she had a cat, and... The cat, out of all of um, the things that um, stay in haunted place, the cat is the most aggressive, I would say. Um, she doesn't hurt people, but she will lightly scratch you. And in fact, just the other night, she actually got one of her guests really good on the thigh of his leg. Oh, really? Yeah, and... Um, what were you just on a tour? Wow. Um, it was actually in the room that he stayed in. Oh. Yeah, they, they actually stayed in Martha Bullock's room. Um, her rooms were 204 and 205. She had a music library and a um, beauty room, and she had her cat with her too. And um, the cat has stayed. Um, but yeah, a lot of people who stay in the room, um, the cat will scratch them or annoy them. She's pretty active. Cool. So she did she live? So she lived in the hotel before they had a ranch, or is that? No, nope. um, they just spent a lot of time at the hotel. Okay. Um, um, Seth Bullock, the room that he used is actually 211. So if um, him and Martha got into a fight and he got, you know, had to sleep on the couch that night, he'd come and stay at the hotel or, you know, the other way around. Uh -huh. She would come and stay at the hotel. Because um, when Seth built up the hotel, he built a luxury hotel. 
um, 300 fine dining, um, red velvet carpet, grand piano, a gentleman's club. Um, Damn, so, that's nice. Yeah, it was very fancy for being in that time period. Um, so they did spend a lot of time here at the hotel. Okay. So I am setting up um, the SLS camera right now. Um, I have like a homemade connect device that I put together. Um, so I need to be near power. And um, so it's not one of those handhelds that you see in paranormal shows because those are specially made for them and they're very, very expensive. Okay, so this is what you're talking about? Yeah. So that's... Okay, now we don't see that. Okay, now I see the painting. Okay, I just saw the things go by when you turned it. If you, there they are. I'm seeing a whole bunch of them. Hey guys, come see me. I'm here to talk to you. Gather around. I'll come out here. We're not here to hurt you at all. We just want to communicate. We just want to say hello and... Is there any kids here? There's another one. I don't hear any cars or anything. There's nothing going by the windows. So we just want to stay there. What windows there are, they're not really windows. They're, they're we're in a basement. They do have blinds, but they're, they're pretty much covered up on the outside. I'll show you pictures of them. And there's not much traffic out there at all on Main Street right now. And they're closed, the blinds are closed. There's nothing that we can figure is causing those anomalies to go by. That's, feel more comfortable if I turn the lights off? So that's Mr. Martini. He's trying to map him. When you're like a side view like that, it just kind of interpolates what your body looks like. Now he's too far away to be mapped, but he can still be seen. How far back can you see? I don't know how far back that was. I mean, it's pitch dark right now. <laughs> so it's pitch dark in this room. The SLS camera can see in the dark. It's, it's an IR camera and a 3D modeler. We also have an IR camera behind me that's looking at the bar area. Oh, is there anybody in the room? I just saw something down below here. Is there any children down here? I just saw something else. Me too. We just want to say hello. Is there any spirits down here? Were you sick? Did you have smallpox? Typhoid? Were you sick? Uh, whoa, what I was that? that too. We can see you going by. Seth Seller is um, pretty, can be pretty spooky sometimes. Um, a lot of women, men, and children die down here um, when smallpox hit Deadwood. Um, this is where they would put the sick women, children, and men um, when they had smallpox to contain it from the other people in the town. Um, unfortunately, most of them did die down here and they remain here. So, um, do you know why they kept they depict this spot to, to, to use as an infirmary? Um, I believe they did. Be, they picked um, down here because before it was the Bullock Hotel, um, it was actually a hardware store, and this was where the blacksmith was. So it was really um, concrete tight down here. Um, 
So this is before it burnt down. Before it burnt down. So it's yes. before it burnt down. Okay. All night long, black orbs were flying across the room. They would either be towards the ground or towards the ceiling. We could not make heads or tails of them. We spent two days trying to debunk these black orbs and never were we able to debunk them. Then I work my way around here and you watch for orbs. Okay. Okay. Because I seem to spook them up on them. So Mr. Martini is over on the bar side. I like horses. He's not on the side that I we can dogs. see. Okay, if you don't want to play games, go near the red light and make it turn green and we'll leave. There we go. Whoa. Did you see it? Yeah, right above the, they went across here and here's the rim pod. Right above the rim pod. You're close. Go on, touch the light. It would mean so much to me. If you can make it turn green, we'll leave you. We'll pack up all our stuff and go. We know it takes a lot of energy. Just touch the red light. You like that song? That was from a, a movie called Wizard of Oz. You know that song? That's Dixie. Yeah, that song might make you angry if you fought for the North. Was that you that just flew across? Yes. Are you flying across the ceiling? Is that you that keeps flying across? So we're in a basement. There's no windows and the only windows that there are, are these wells that are pretty blocked up that go out to the main street. Was that something right there just now? No. Uh. So he's moving the camera around right now just to get a different angle. I mean, your floor. They're making that much noise up there. You can kind of count footsteps out as uh, paranormal uh, occurrences here. Yeah. All this up here is just really old flooring and it just creaks. Maybe we scared it out of the basement. Mm -hmm. Whoever but I, I do want to remark that this area right here is not where the creaking's coming from. It's coming from above me. Um, and where we're seeing the orbs, it, there's a bar right here and there's nobody there. It's it's more of an empty area. The bigger part of the casino is this way. 
So it's not, and these orbs are too big to be dust. It's funny, my light doesn't affect that no, at all. No, doesn't. So passing car lights wouldn't affect it at all. But what if they reflect on the on the mirror? Is that what you were testing? Yeah, it's a mirror right there. So he, what he's doing is he's putting his flashlight on mirrors to see if those are causing orbs, and they're not. What? Which one are you shining on? The mirror right there. And the camera's facing right there. there? Well, it's kind of on the corner of the camera, but there's mirrors in the back as well. You see, you don't see the mirror there? Oh, it's illuminated. The screen might be screwing you up. Yeah. But there's mirrors all along the bar, and there's pictures with shiny uh, frames. Right. And I just want to make sure we weren't getting anything. It has to do with light. But as you can see, light doesn't affect this camera. Right. Well, I think that if, if it was light that was reflecting off of one of these pictures um it would be it, it, any of the pictures it would be the one with Zeth and his cowboys and, or that's what's it a star that's over there we're sitting in the pitch dark see, so i can't see we're not looking over there we're looking back that way okay so we, we're not even see where looking. the camera's facing so it's kind of facing the corner of that stage back there. Okay. You mean the DJ booth? Yeah. Okay, so shine uh, the flashlight on, on the Zeph picture and the cowboy picture. Oh, yeah. Okay, so which is that right there. See it how doesn't it doesn't show any difference. It's not showing any difference. How about that? I Do that again because an orb did go by. It's on the picture. I have moved the flashlight. Okay, move the flashlight. But keep in mind, the flashlight might create orbs uh, because of the... Uh, well, that's what I want to see. And I also want to see the size of them, but I don't see any orbs going by. How about that star... Oh, God, you just scared me. Why? Because you moved the camera. <laughs> okay, but now you're seeing a wall. See, there's a mirror right here. If you look uh, mm -hmm. off your screen, there's a mirror here. here. So he's shining his... Um, it's one of those small mag lights, and he's shining it on all the shiny surfaces, and nothing's happening. So that's not what's causing the orbs. How about that star that's up over by the deep? Right uh, and yeah, yeah. No orbs. Uh huh. So I'm I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get a whole lot on our equipment, our K2, our rim pod, um, our spirit box. Uh, we didn't get anything in two nights of investigations. So I'm hoping that I'm going to find a lot on our IR camera, um, maybe some EVPs, um, you know, something that um, beyond the SLS. We got a ton on the SLS as far as these large orbs that were flying all through the ceiling. Um, again, these are not bugs. They're, they're <laughs> hundred times bigger than bugs. Um, and you know, you can judge how big they are just based off the furniture in the room uh, or Mr. Martini in the pictures and you see something flying um, through the air. Um, again, we are on, uh, we are down in a basement. Uh, there's nothing down here. We've tested with the mirrors um, and shiny objects that that's not what it was with flashlights. We do have these window wells here. I'll show you those from up in the, um, from the street level. They're, the light can't come down through these. They're completely covered up above the screen is very dirty from the street um, and they're very blocked off up there uh, so light just can't get through we've already tested that so we're just not sure what that was all about make sure to catch all the videos that we have on South Dakota and the beautiful Black Hills Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.